All right, well, I'm here in the truck. I'm gonna do a short little video on how to properly use the GeoTab. I've already signed into it, so I've already put in my username and signed in. So I figured uh, we'll start right out, and here we go. All right, this is showing me where to select a vehicle. It's just showing it's the last, uh, last time I used truck 355, which is the truck I'm in today. So I'm gonna hit continue. Just wait for it to load up. So I'm going to attach a trailer and I'm attaching trailer 53001. So the easiest thing to do is search trailers. 53011. And then it'll pop up right there. Tap it. Hit continue. New shipment. These are going to be my BOLs and pickups for today. So I'm going to hit new shipment shipper name my first stop is in East Jordan so this is coming from Great Lakes Casting so the shipper name is Great Lakes Casting and I typed this in enough that it's um, it'll pop right up in the, the most used so so we got rough iron. Uh, let's just go with iron castings. Iron castings. Shipment number. That's just going to be your uh, tracking number. 514604. And then we're going to hit add. Don't hit continue yet because then it'll keep going to the next step. So my next. Oops. Sorry. My next uh, BOL is going to be from JB Webb to JB Webb. Commodity. Um, I'm assuming it's electronic stuff. Electrical, uh, electrical stuff. Shipper name is going to be JB Webb. JB Webb. And then once again, add. Then come down here. My shipper name is going to be Origin. Looks like uh, C Mac. The commodity, it's plastic shipment document <clears throat> 514 640 add then this is um, that's all my deliveries so I'll look at my trip sheet and I have one pickup today for Petoskey Plastics, so I'm gonna put that in here. Petoskey Plastics, commodity, plastic, shipment document number, 513-468, add. That's all of them. So now I can hit continue. And this is just saying that I had one log that wasn't verified. I know it's mine. It's from the other day. So I'm going to verify it since I know it's mine. Then I hit agree. So now I'm going to certify and inspect the truck. So it looks like the last person to use it was Jordan. No defects on it. Otherwise, it would have popped up red saying a repair. So I've already done the pre-trip on it. So I'm going to certify the previous inspection. <laughs> Uh, pre-trip no defects yes certify and inspect the trailer I have not hooked to the trailer yet I haven't inspected it but I if there's anything wrong with it <clears throat> excuse me if there's anything wrong with it I have to fix it before I leave anyway so I just certify the previous pre-trip no defects yes and then that's it right there now let's say you have to drop your trailer and get a new trailer or you have to add a new shipment because dispatch adds something so you can go into this right here is your assets 
you can hit that or you can hit up here at the top corner up there and you can also find the assets and you would just uh, well first if, if you're adding a if you're adding a new uh, shipment you just hit add new shipment now if you're adding a new trailer if you're dropping your trailer and hooking another trailer I'd go to DVIR first then certify and inspect your post trip on that and then go to assets and then back to you can go to dashboard which will take you back to this or you go to HOS which will bring you right here now when I get to <clears throat> when I get to a stop I'll get on my status here and I'll hit on duty and I'll, I'll switch from driving to on duty manually so then I can switch over to logs so I have all this right here and let's say I was at a stop I would tap on that and I'd come down here in the annotations I'd add an annotation and let's say for my stop my first stop which is West Core in East Jordan I'd add an annotation I'd write West Core um, unload because that's what it is so if this is what it was if for example I'd write West Core unload T number and then the T number for it 514604 if that's what it was and then I'd hit save however I'm not at West Core so I'm not gonna do that right now but that's what I would do so I can back out of this and I don't I don't want to save those so basically that's it now when you're going to log out you go to your status you do your DVIR certify inspect but you would do post trip instead of pre trip like we did and then come back here to your HOS click yourself to off duty switch to logs and you would verify them and then it would pop up do you agree with this and you say yes and once that's done you come up here hit that little guy right there and you can log out and it'll take you right out of there and that's pretty much the geo tab in a nutshell I mean there's a little more to it but that's the basics so alright uh, that'll give you a good idea on what to do with geotab alright thanks and uh, drive safe